good getting internet. Let's go ahead and get back to this. Um, so, as you can tell, it's been a little bit longer. I'm at, it's the same day. I'm wearing the same shirt underneath. Let's see. I just felt a bit cold. Uh, the weather here is uh, Wisconsin-United States weather, so it sleeted five minutes later. It was a heavy snowstorm, and about ten minutes after that, it completely melted, and it's bright, sunny, and extremely windy outside. Also, it's barely above freezing, so... Yay. Uh, I decided to put on the shirt because I was feeling slightly chilly, uh, and also decided to go eat lunch because food would be a good idea. I don't have my headphones on at the moment. Um, also, I forgot to switch the audio anyway, so you wouldn't have been able to hear anything to begin with. There we go. Audio switched. Uh, make sure... Yes, okay. Audio is coming in. So this is the Dragoon's Keep. Uh, might as well put my headphones on. Hey, look, there's money. Money's useful, right? I vaguely remember this dungeon. I remember this being a lot of, yep, a lot of veterans in here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to sit here so I don't hit, hit by as many of them. This is the lower level of the plate ones. This is the medium level one. Um, this dungeon, the main thing to keep aware of is that you don't want to enter it until you have good repair item, because they're going to be damaging me a lot. Also, I have very little inventory space, I just realized. Ugh, this might be a problem. Hi, I didn't want all of you in here at once. I'm s the, the spell missing here is Fire Blast, which is one that I really badly want right now. Um, I will have to do with Sparks. You are going to be Poison Spray. Oops, I forgot to actually cast it. You're going to be Shrap Metal. Okay. Which normally does crap tons of damage, but since I'm only Expert 4, it's not going to do that much. And you're going to be hitting people in the face. Alright, something just broke. My bow broke. So this is the best part about Might Magic 6, 7, and 8, is that you're in turn-based combat and go, Oh no, my bow just broke! Quick, hand it over to the character who has repair item. They repair it, hand it back, re-equip, and no time has passed. It's great. So I'm basically just trying to chomp through these as fast as I can. Especially this veteran here. Which I'm doing a fairly good job at jumping through. This veteran is next. Trap metal. Sparks. Normal attack. Poison spray. Poison spray is so overpowered at this point of the game. And you're the only one left. There we go. That's not too bad. Although, look at how much spell points I chug went through because of um, trap metal. That's that's the one problem. I can hear rats in this dungeon. Okay, so that must be the second creature. First being fighter like, second being rats. That was a lot of money actually. Um, actually, let's go ahead and, do I have beacon on both right now? No, okay. I will eventually have beacon on both. Let's set a beacon. I don't need a beacon in the Misty Islands. I'm going to do more of the dungeon before running away to heal. I mean, veterans at this point aren't too bad. Luckily, he's a high priest, so he actually has some spell points. 
I'm going to probably need to start throwing points into meditation soon so I get more spell points. Uh, these three will be greatly appreciative of meditation. Okay. Uh, how are you doing on spell points? You've got 60 remaining. You're fine. For now. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and town portal now. Do -do 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 -do. Double speed. While I'm at it, let's go ahead. Oh, I don't have anything to enchant. Hmm, okay. Oh, uh, is it this side? But yeah. Might as well. Beacon, recall, dragon's keep. We're back here again. Do these doors in order, because that's the way I roll. Oh, something broke again. Oh no, my mace. It's of doom. Okay, it's fixed. So silly. I mean, I like it by virtue of how often things get injured or destroyed in this game. You kind of need something like that, but it's definitely weird. When you logically think about it. Kind of like, as Candace pointed out, how um, each character can only wear six rings. Apparently you can't wear rings on your pinky or thumb in this game for some reason. I have no idea why. Or only wear one amulet, for that matter. There's no real reason for that, logically. Mechanically, there's probably very good reasons for all of this, of course. Okay. You don't have anything. You almost certainly do. Do. That's about as far away as I can get. Hopefully it's good enough. Yep. There's nothing in there. You assets. Okay. Go to the next room. Like I have mentioned before, you'll notice that my normal fight and playstyle is starting to show through. And I'm going through dungeons a lot faster than I used to. Unfortunately, it means I actually end up taking more damage overall, but, eh. You're taking a lot more damage than normal. There we go. There we go. And there's a capital C cabinet. There's nothing there. Uh... Can I jump on the bed? Get as far back as I can. Telekinesis. Yeah, I took that hit. And there's nothing in that one. I have a hunch that there's nothing in any of these, but... Oops. I forgot to actually go in the turn base one first. You're almost dead. There we go. I can definitely telekinesis this one. Oh, um, so this is the reason why I have the two characters with regen magic being the cleric and the um, aquamage. It's because these are the ones that I'm using the most magic from. And it's kind of critical to... You don't even have a veteran in here. It's not worth using magic on these. At least you have money. All right, I'm gonna predict that you have nothing in here. Yeah. So I'm being lazy. Power cure for the win. But again, I'm using a lot of magic. This is the downside of my approach. I eat magic for breakfast in this game, basically. That's telekinesable. So the way I think of it is that telekinesis is the same magic cost as power cure. So, oops, hit windows key on me. Windows key lock, there we go. Um, 
Yeah, my keyboard has a Windows key lock. It's awesome. So in my mind, if I cast Telekinesis once and save more magic than... Or if I cast Telekinesis once and I save healing up, that would be the same as me using a power cure, then it's about the same. If I can save more than a power cure, it's totally worth doing it that way. There's more enemies in here, but there's still not any veterans, so... I'm probably just going to fight or trap disarm this one. Wait, aren't I a master... Um, spirit caster? Since I'm a master spirit caster, I can cast heroism, can't I? Yep. In that case, heroism and bless, please. Hi. Wow. I don't have any good area of effect spells on him yet. Another fireball. Okay. There we go. Taken care of. And you are a crappy dagger. That's barely even worth picking up. You are a crappy volax. That's probably not worth picking up either, but. I want to say there was something in between these. Lowercase torch. Lowercase torch. Apparently not. Yellow liquid is accuracy. How are we doing on that? 62, 53, 26, 31. Let's go ahead and shore up some of our mage friends. I'm a little concerned about how... Lo oh, there's the rats. A little concerned about how little magic I have on my cleric at this point. I'm not regening fast enough. Yeah, rats are not exactly a threat. Um, I'm in route. There's one more rat and wizard I fell. And while I'm at it, let's do a torchlight. That is a piercing dagger. That's still not a very good weapon. I'm in condition green, so that's nice. Uh, what are these barrels? White liquid, orange liquid. Uh, actually, fighter trap disarm probably makes sense here. Let's go ahead and cast a regular cure wounds on her. And then fighter trap disarm again. Hey, look, there's actual money and a holy hammer. That is the highest level mace in the game. Or mace-like, I should say. That's cell bait. That's enchant bait. That's cell bait. I took damage, that's fine. Hit that, which opens something. I think that opens back in the beginning, if I remember right. Hmm. Master level wizard eye. So you'll notice that in light blue, those are all of the chests that I see. That's from the master level wizard eye. I should have called that out earlier. So, um, I think I will hop back to the cervical again, heal up. I do this a lot. This tends to be my predominant way of handling things. Ugh. Um, actually, recall Dragon's Keep. Walking outside would actually make a lot of sense. Because this is close to a Temple of Ba, right? That's up, okay. So this is actually going to take me less game time than anything else. And Temples of Ba are always open, if I remember correctly. They're not? did not realize. Well, 
I guess I'll just keep going. Although, nah. I'll wait. And yeah, I could have just cast Pure Weakness first on everybody, but seriously, it's six gold. I don't care. All right. Let's continue. I need to do this first. If you haven't noticed how I'm exploring dungeons yet, um, I'm, I basically follow a path and keep following that path. I usually tend to go toward the right. Um, there's not a particular reason why I chose right, as long as it's consistent. There's definitely something behind that door. Hi. Oh, I should recast heroism and haste. And bless. So, um, I don't think, I don't, probably have explained it before, but. So, um, heroism gives a bonus to damage. Haste gives a bonus to, nah, I can't hit over their head. Um, haste gives a bonus to re recovery time. Bless gives a bonus to hit. So it's kind of the three that I need to be able to be offensive. Um, once I get hour of power, they'll probably always be up, but I don't have hour of power right now. that I'm taking more turns than they are and <sighs> yeah this episode's probably going to be nothing but dungeon crawl let's heal up a little veterans running that's usually a good sign I know that my um, wizard eye dropped I'm just waiting until the battle's over Actually, now is not a bad time, now that I'm in a better position. There we go. Money! So yeah, my dungeon strategy tends to be... Go after every open room first, that way nobody sneaks up on me. Yep, I remember what's down there. Don't need to worry about that right now. Then, after I finish going through every open room, which I have, first off, double check to make sure I haven't looped around, which I did. So I open up whatever I've looped around, and then I start methodically going through each door. This is the first door. Ugh. Just ugh. Ring of fire. I should get rid of, yeah, most of the rats. Nice dolt. Another ring of fire to get rid of the rest of the rats. Magic. My, oh, something broke. No, my, my divine dagger. Okay, it's fixed. As I've mentioned before, I should be at the point where everything is, um, whatchamacallit, oh, just die. Um, oh, it drops chain mail, so these must be the chain ones, but the other ones were chain ones. Whatever. Um, what was I even saying? Oh, I should be at the point where I could repair everything in the game. That's totally enchantable. That's definitely enchanted. Ooh, I'd have no inventory space. We haven't had that happen yet. 
yeah, you're going to find inventory space. I just need to rearrange and probably drop some of the garbage here. That's enchantable, so I don't really want to drop it. I mean, these are hardly worth even picking up anyway. They're worth 40. My inventory space is worth more than that. There we go. And this is white liquid. This is a campfire. There's nothing in the campfire. Let us continue. Oh, how's haste doing? Haste has 46 minutes remaining. I'm okay for now. Lots of rats. Goodbye, rats. Once more, I tend to be of the mindset of if I can avoid a battle and having to heal, then I will avoid a battle. Blue, red, empty, red, empty. So red. Hi. Enemies do respawn in this game when there's specific reasons for it. Like for instance, I flipped a switch or you cross over a certain tile. And... Ah, more fighters. This is the type of situation I worry about when it comes to stun locking for reference. That's why I switched back to using haste. Speaking of, I have 25 minutes, okay. I'll need to recast it at the end of this battle, probably. point I'm going to back up a little bit right here so I'm not getting hit as much also I that chain is money I'll pick it up later maybe heal kill that one take care of some of the rats There we go. Okay, I know that there's something there because that's what Wizard Eye tells me. Um, yeah, that's much better to hold on to. Just dumping some of the other things, rearranging inventory a bit because I can fit more than this in here. There is no inventory range button in this game, much to my dismay. Oh, that's three slot, not two slot. See how much more inventory space I have now? probably pick up some of those things too but oh, that was secret room okay wasn't sure if that was a switch I needed to hit uh, you need more healing just a treasure worth money actual money and you are the type of thing that I should be able to telekinesis without getting hit I am weakened. Oh, I forgot to recast haste. Dang it. Um, that's an actual useful item. These are not useful items. That's money. Dang it me. Your weakness yourself. 
weakness. Her. Pass, pass. Cure weakness. Him. Okay. I'll deal without haste, I guess. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. I seem to remember what's in here, but I haven't seen it yet. Door won't budge. Yeah, I have to go do the stupid thing. So. This is the jail area. There's a bunch of jail cells here. And along with lots of rats and other fun things. Oop, something broke. Your axe? It's fixed. Heal yourself. Attack. I miss having haste. How are you doing? Well, you're going to be dead from that. And you can die. There we go. Okay. Um, let's... Yeah, these doors won't budge until I do something really dumb. This. And then everybody comes out. I'm actually going to bounce back to here. Inferno! Actually running low on spell points on her for once. That might be one of the first times this game that's happened. Oh, screw it. That wasn't even a very good hit. Enchantable, at least. That's not. Let's swap those two around. Still trying to keep the enchantable things on him. Okay. I'm just going to fight my way through that. This is a switch. It's obviously a switch. It looks like one. Good job, brain. Yeah, there's no space in her inventory for sure. I'm just going to transfer some things around. Intellect is better than endurance for him. Yeah, his inventory is full. He's got two slots left, and I'm not going to fit a scroll in at that. But I can fit those. There. That's a little better. Well, the inventory spot's empty. I would rather have it like this, then. There. There we go. Now I have a better idea as to what inventory space I have. Okay. So I've hit that one. Save. Continue. Bunch of rats. I don't care. Hit that one. It has a club in it. This is a trap, by the way. Um, I happen to know this is a trap. Okay, 
I probably need to temporal out of here again. But I wanted to clear this area first. Do, 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 do. Kill all the fighters. Oh, Bless went down, that's why. I was like, why am I missing things now? Uh, no, you don't. Stop trying to run away from me. Make sure, yeah. I want to say there's a trap that actually triggers enemies in there. Yep, there's enemies there. I'm just going to town portal back to New Serpical again. Uh, time is 8.22, so I can sell stuff. So I'm going to do that first. Um, not that I can sell much at the moment, because I want to make sure that those things are enchanted. Yes. That is not better than what I have equipped. Class six, yeah, I'm still selling those. There we go. All right, um, armor enchantment takes priority because that's what's available. This can be sold without enchanting. Let's rearrange this slightly better. That'll work. Okay, I've this can't be enchanted. That's already enchanted. That's already enchanted. Wow, that was gonna keep for longer. Durance plus four. What do you have? Speed seven. Weight twenty-two. Durance nine. Okay, this is selling. There we go. Now you can enchant that. That's cell bait. Sell that. Time to go rinse repeat with weapons. Bow first, because that's almost certainly going to be better than what somebody has on. Yeah, you don't even have an enchanted bow right now. Do you have an enchanted bow? No. I'm actually going to give that to her instead, because she's the one that's better with bows. Alright. Hammer time, 1 to 6 fire versus doom. I think 1 to 6 fire actually makes more sense. Plus, this does an extra 4 points of damage. Actually, it does 4 to 7 points of damage, so yeah. Okay... Enchant the swords that are just going to be cell bait. Already has enchantment? Oh, okay. Must have forgotten to sell that earlier. Alright, that should be everything that needs to be enchanted. What in here can be sold? Okay, these are the scrolls that I want to keep. That can be sold at this point. These are all scrolls that I want to sell. Let's go ahead and heal up. Eee, zoom. It's been 34 minutes. Ugh.
just dumping these. They're worth two. So there's no reason for me to even bother selling them since I can't sell them right now anyway. Um, go like so and uh, so many potion bottles. Just making inventory space. Pardon me. Let's organize this a little bit. this for my organization. I know, very exciting. I think the next episode I'm going to finally make some black potions because my inventory is getting too full at this point. Okay. go. Rest are empty potion bottles. Okay. You have two more inventory slots. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Now let's head back. Beacon back to Dragon's Keep. And let's go through here. Let's be smart about it this time. Go ahead and cast Bless, Heroism, and Haste. Hi. You still have a chant item selected. You need Poison Spray. down. There we go. Oh, you broke something. No, not my rogue dagger. Done. Okay. Oh. Your hammer broke. But it's hammer time. Oops, wrong character. Hammer time. Mm -hmm. 
And here's where all of the loot that's been missing for this entire dungeon has been. They're all along the walls. And for some reason, banker, or the NPCs don't actually take money from this. I don't know why that's the case, but they don't. Uh, I thought there was something else here. So I believe that chest has our objective, which will be a glorious, glorious thing. It has Mordred. This is our first artifact of the game. This dagger is always here. It's always Mordred. Um, it's also the weakest of the artifacts, but basically it's a vampiric dagger that's really high power. Um, you're going to get Mordred because you have crappy weapons still. There we go. So now her damage goes up quite a bit. And the way the game works, and I don't know if the patch fixed this or not, is that the special powers of whatever's in your primary hand is what triggers for all of your attack. So she is now vampiric even on this dagger's damage. So I think that's the way it works. I can't remember for sure. And we are done with this dungeon. It's been 41 minutes. Let's go do another. Well, first, let's power cure. Oh yeah, power cure. We need to fly. And let's go ahead and do a lich. Might as well stop over here to get healed because it's so cheap. <laughs> is this going to be a long episode? I don't remember how long this dungeon is. Other than Ethric the Mad's a lich. The first sorcerer seeking life after death still walks about his tomb, the leader of a host of undead servants. At least that's how the rumor goes. Once more, I'm wearing glasses. My apologies for the reflections that have probably been coming about. Oh, this dungeon. First off, I'm going to wizard eye. Second off. So there's elevators, there's three elevators, and you walk up the elevator and go through a door. And that's kind of how the dungeon works. Door period. This door will not budge. Was it left one first or is it center one first? I don't remember now. Door period, this door will not budge. By the way, I'm hugging the wall because then I don't have falling damage because I forgot to cast for the fall. So this must be the door I have to go through first. Well, there's definitely enemies down here, so let's go take care of them. Skelly Bros! I seem to remember this being a short dungeon, but my memory is faulty all sorts of times. This is the dungeon that has, yep, burial niches. Burial niches can cause, is it poison or disease in your case? Disease. Uh, burial niches can cause various bad things to happen, or you find loot. Like that. 1,854 gold is totally worth having to cast Cure Disease. Yeah, this is the dungeon I'm remembering, which means it's not actually that long of a dungeon. I did choose the two dungeons correctly. Hooray. And because I have Cure Disease, it's not that big of a deal for me to do this. Cardinal Cloak of Antidotes, where it is resistant to poison. That's an enchantable cloak, but unfortunately, well... Yeah, that might actually be a better off, better thing for you. That one's closed. This one has somebody diseased. This is why I wanted to cure disease. I remember that this dungeon was in the game. I couldn't remember where the dungeon was. And you have more Skelly Bros over here. I know it's Skelly Bros, Lich, and that's it, I want to say. Uh... 
I have removed curse, so I'm not too concerned about Skelly Bros at this point. And oh, I forgot to recast haste again. This is a perpetual thing for me, by the way. This is not a one-time thing. I always forget to cast haste. I should have cast it on yourself first. Oops. He's dead. Hit the switch. Barrel is just empty. There we go. Everybody's no longer weak. I don't need to worry as much about haste in this place. But I hit the switch and now I can go back. And now I believe it's the left one. Oops, wrong map. I believe it's the left one I can go down now. Don't mind me, I'm just wall walking. Notice that it was door period which did not budge, but the regular door opened up just fine. Weird way of this game. Oop, I activated somebody. I'm gonna do you first then. Just so I don't have skelly bros surrounding me. Gauntlets of poison resistance. That's sellable. And a lot of money. That's always handy. Now I'll go down here, handle these skelly bros. There's a lot of skelly bros in here. Hmm, oh, I should probably heal my sorcerer at some point. Yes. Fumes make me sick. Cure disease, now you're no longer sick. Burial niche is empty, okay. Niche? Niche? I think this one would be niche because your niche is something else usually, right? Lots of skelly bros. Inferno! Far fewer skelly bros now. Another raised dead scroll. Normally those are useless. But we've patched the game. They're actually useful. That one's empty, that one's empty. Now we go through the middle one. Zoom! Oops. That could have been bad. Let's do this at normal speed. Because this isn't creepy at all. I'm just watching where things are going. Not that much damage, that's why I was like, oh wait, never mind. I'm actually fairly decent with fire right now. Now I hear ghost bros. I prefer the skelly bros to ghost bros. You've already seen my interaction with ghosts where you just get KO'd for no reason for higher level ghosts. This is easier than Corrigan's estate, isn't it? Oh, somebody got cursed. It's somebody I don't care about getting cursed, but I'm still going to remove curse. Ten forty-two gold, empty. Oh yeah. Okay, my reputation does drop every time I do that. That's good to know. It doesn't drop by much, so I'm not too concerned. Or not? Maybe it's just from how long I'm taking. Or maybe it's only when I get something. I'm not sure. Still angelic. That's weird. Yeah, this isn't a creepy place at all. That's where the lich is, if I remember right. Hi, liches! 
Notice that these aren't bosses. These are normal liches. Look at how much damage has been dealt to her already. It's nuts. They're immune to poison. I remembered this time. Heal you. Heal you. Do I have a better... Sp yeah, I guess Firebolt's probably better in her case. Actually, it might not be now that I think about it. I think they're weaker to sparks than to fire. Okay. You have the liches down the hallway. Which is fine. I would like to heal a little bit. That's a power cure. I don't want to deal with that right now. Just hit the switch and run. Okay. Kind of wish it showed me how much damage I was actually doing. It only shows you each attack written down below. So technically it's showing you a whole bunch all at once, but you can't see it because it's going too fast. And to be fair, it's going too fast even in the original game. Uh, Shrap Battle is a great spell for here. But I would rather keep my magic. There we go. Shared life would actually be really handy right about now, but that's okay. Yep. Lots of liches. Well, at least that one's a normal lich. Power lich. Power Lich. Etheric. There's the boss. So I'm going to run for a bit. Because I can't deal with that many Liches at once, most likely. Ah. So my screen, um, I have a brand new monitor, which is very nice. Don't get me wrong. But things are very tight cable-wise. And something keeps causing it to flicker. I think that's it, at least. I hope so, because I don't want to have to return this monitor. Okay. Hi, Ethric. You need healing. You still need healing. I think Ethric is basically just a normal powered lich. I'd have to look at the game stats on it. You're almost dead. Just die. Just die. Thank you. So that's the quest reward, is Etheric's Skull. 996, so I'm still at the same. I'm trying to get one to come down this path. I still don't want to fight four of them at once. I think I'll just go a different way for the time being and let them naturally move. Hi, ghosties. I'm not getting loss of things for grave robbing or anything. That's totally trapped. Uh, my torch light just went out, which probably means, yeah. Wizard eye is down really low. I don't seem to need feather fall, so I won't bother recasting that. Let's go ahead and wizard eye again. Um, these also have liches in here. This is actually really good loot for reference. It's just really difficult to deal with. Uh, I'm going to set a beacon over here. Set beacon. That didn't even have a trap on it, apparently. 
So one has three liches, one has four liches. Great. Does this only have three now? No, this has three. No, it has four. Screw it. There's two here, one there. Little concerned. What am I doing on spell points? Okay, I need to not cast any more spells with him. Crap. Mm, yeah, if there's two liches here is the problem. You see how much damage I'm taking from just liches? Okay, if I can take you out as well, that would be swell. Okay. This is not a great situation to be in, but I did set a beacon, so I can now town portal, new serpical, get healed. Ah, things I dropped on the ground are gone. I was not expecting that. Did I already do it? It couldn't have done a reset already. Normal speed. This is, yeah, it's still February. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go sell things over here. If you find anything. Yeah, let's sell that and sell that. Just making some inventory space. There we go. Plains Beacon, Recall, Tomb of Etheric Demand. Okay, so there's five and two. I'm gonna go with the side that has two first. You know what? Trap Metal is the most damaging spell as I attack with somebody who does a lot of damage. It's the most damaging spell in the game. At least get me down to where I only have one Lich. Oh, it duplicated. That was nice of it. So that's actually a fairly nice spell. You are just a regular Power Lich. Just. You're going to start healing yourself. Yep. I will end this episode when I finish clearing out this dungeon. Yeah, I didn't think that gave me loot. I don't remember if sarcophagi in general are trapped or not. I'm gonna go with no. So, these are precious metals. They sell for money. There's, er, precious gemstones. There's no other point in the game to them. actually evaluate that that is some really nice chain mail so this is the highest end chain mail in the game beyond artifact level um the heavenly forges are basically well i don't want to give away what they are i'll explain it later but heavenly forges are basically very very powerful item creation things so that is probably going to end up going on my character that cell. That cell. Shrinking ray. Well, now that I know enchantments actually work, or um, that specs work, that's not that bad. That's some nice gauntlets, but I don't need them, I think. Those are some really nice boots for my cleric. Yeah, intellect personality. Here, have more personality. Yep, his magic points even adjusted. Uh, you have doom, you have recovery. Wait, you have two items of recovery. Dang it! Didn't even notice. Here. I have some boots. <laughs> now everybody should have something of recovery. Alright. Oh. So, the other thing I should mention is that um, I mentioned that liches do dispel magic, which is what just happened. However, they can sort of sometimes see through walls. Strangely. Don't know why. I think 
I hit all three then? Yeah. So as long as they can see you, they can hit you with it. Which makes liches the most annoying creatures in the game. All right. This is actually what I wanted to have happen with liches, which is getting them out of their special headquarters where I only have to fight some of them at a time. Greater Liches and Power Liches both have Dispel. So technically in this game, enemies can have two spells at a time at most. Um, that's just the way the game was built. So I think it's Greater and Power can both have Dispel. So much damage. So the spell that a hat. That's a pretty bad item from a power lich. Um, the what was I saying? Um, oh, the spell they're casting offensive wise is Psy Shock. I mentioned before it was the most powerful body magic spell in the game. Yeah, that's what they're casting. Greater lich and power lich. Okay. that worked. At this point, I just want him dead. There we go. I'm in yellow, so there's still enemies around. Also picked up... Ooh! Arcane Wand of Clouds. That's all bait. That's enchant bait. That is redistribution bait later. So I believe that's... Nope. There's one more lich here. Oops. Now there's no more enemies. There we go. Money! Technically, if I really wanted to optimize things, I could fire my NPCs each time that I open up a chest, but I think that's kind of a dick move. Oh, there is another enemy here. Okay. All right. That's cell bait. That's right. enchant bait. Money. That's enchant bait. That's enchant bait. That's not even worth picking up. That's not even worth picking up. Okay. So now... Go back to the fireball room, and I have the two rooms that are off to the sides. That's all that's remaining out of here. I'm at an hour and three minutes. Don't care. That's a door period. That shouldn't have opened. Oh. You don't even have... Oh, fumes make me sick. Ooh, I'm starting to run low on magic points. It's just empty. Fumes make me sick. I am out of magic points, aren't I? Yep. Okay, good to know. That's a nice shield. Yeah, congratulations, you have a better shield now. Much better, actually. And niche is empty. All I've got left is the other side. I think I can do this without having to town portal. Oh, well, I did actually get hit by that one. Okay, so that may not have been the great. Oh, damn it! I forgot this is the side that actually has a fireball nearby. Oh, this could be bad. You notice that she's starting to gain hit points when she attacks. It's from the vampiric effect. 500 gold and empty. Now I think I'm done. Yep, I'm done. 
Let's go ahead and town portal back to New Serpical. Heal up. Still at 996, so I'm okay. I need four more, um, whatchamacallit, um, four more reputation to be able to do what I want to do, but that's fine because I'm about to get it, I think. Freehaven, all right. This is where I can turn in both of these quests, if I remember correctly. I just, I think they're both in this general area. So pardon me for hitting a bunch of locations. 30,000 gold and you got to keep Mordred. Yeah, Mordred is the weakest of the artifacts and in Might Magic 7 and 8 there's also weaker artifacts similar to Mordred. So. And now I'm back to Saintly. That gave plus 100 reputation. Which I was not expecting at all. Who else was I supposed to return this to? Um, I have the hour. I don't have the hourglass of time. Um, Etheric skull is for Gabriel Cartman. Gabriel Cartman. Can't say I know the name. How are you? You are not Gabriel. How are you? You are also not Gabriel. That's a house that doesn't exist. How are you? These were purchasing entry into the Guild of Self. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, I thought I was already a spirit expert. How are you? I am mind expert as well. Okay, uh, maybe north? Time of day is 4 p.m. Nothing I can enchant. Oh, that I can. Nope. I bought with the wrong character. Drat. Well, that's going to be a waste. Oh well. Nothing else I can enchant. So, what did I just buy? Those gauntlets. That as well. Find room. Buy oh, special magic bow. That's also enchantable. I'll sell in New Sorpical. I'm not too concerned about that right now. And I'm doing much better on money, which is kind of important. It's Wednesday, so if I trained, it would end up being Thursday of the following week. That's not a bad idea, but I'm going to need to train soon. And I might be beyond the maximum limit for mist at this point. I don't think you're out here, right? You are, okay. 7,500 gold. And no reputation increase. Okay, that's actually what I wanted to see. So we're down to two pages of quests left. Uh, the only one left that I could do, okay, so this is not the monolith, okay. Um, the only one that I can do here is something that I don't even have the quest for yet because it's in Silver Cove and I've been avoiding it. Uh, so yep, we're going to stop here. Um, I should probably level. Missed, hopefully I have enough time. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. So load the autosave. Town portal to... I actually don't know what would be next. Let me look that up really fast. Um, so what I am looking up... Uh, 
Do, 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 do. Maximum levels. Here we go. Uh, Mist is up to three. Silver Cove is the next one. At Abdul's discount training. I love that. I love that name so much. Okay. Okay. Town portal. Silver Cove. Abdul's discount training is by the sea. It's over here, I believe. Here we go. Abdul's discount training center. Oh, I could only hit 30 anyway. In that case, um, so five, seven, four, six, nine. How much do I save by going to mist? Five, seven, four, six, nine versus. Yeah, I save nearly 20,000 gold. Okay. Uh, we're going to stop this here. Once more, between episodes, I will figure out how I want to um, distribute my points. And I will explain. Hopefully, next time, hopefully, for the next episode, I won't accidentally have absolutely no audio and have to repeat everything. I'll talk to you next time, Internet, and hope you've had a nice day.